the second Sunday in Easter, year C. From the book of Acts, you are determined to bring this man's blood on us. In the name of the one by whose blood we are redeemed, even Jesus the Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. Prophetic utterance, the name by which we identify experiences that range from uncanny insight or foresight to the kind of recognition that clearly transcends human knowing. Prophetic utterance is one of the sevenfold gifts of the Spirit we pray to have strengthened within us through the sacrament of confirmation. Jesus breathes this gift of prophetic insight upon the disciples, indicating the prophetic power of forgiveness by which we're able to declare an end to the corrosive power of sin. When the high priest complains of the disciples' determination to bring Jesus' blood upon the council, this too is prophetic utterance. He's right that the disciples blame the council for Jesus' death, but it is also true that we all take Jesus' blood upon us when we receive the gift of repentance and the forgiveness of sins. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. His blood is upon our doorposts, protecting us from the power of death and freeing us from our sins, making us to be a kingdom priests, serving his God and Father. When Thomas declares that he will not believe unless he sees and touches the marks of the nails and the wound in Jesus' side, Thomas is also speaking prophetically, indicating both his need for tangible proof and the reality of sin and pain and death, none of which we can truly understand unless they actually touch us. Jesus could not give us the ability to overcome the power of these realities, turning them to our own good and the good of others, without first touching them himself. It was to give us this ability that Jesus sacrificed himself. We do not confront sin, pain, and death once and once only, but again and again and again until at the last we pass through death to the time of judgment. We who have taken Jesus' blood upon us, before we can fully understand what it means, are enabled to confront sin and pain and death when they inevitably come to us, blessed with ever-increasing confidence that their power has no dominion over us. That confidence is what will enable us to give back to Jesus the breath he has breathed upon us in forgiveness, and having sin, seen our sins drop away from us, to hear in the sound of our wailing the true praise of the Lord. Alleluia. In the name of that same Lord, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>